Well, how does a community prepare for a catastrophic natural disaster or a terrorist attack? It takes expertise and planning and practice. Well, at this very moment, a celebration is going on at the University of Maryland Center for Health and Homeland Security for its anniversary. Fifteen years ago, it was created to respond to a dangerous world, a reality brought home on 9-11. The front tower, good Lord. 9-11 took the country by surprise. The Center for Health and Homeland Security, CHHS, works to take the surprise out of the equation by training communities ahead of time for terrorism, epidemic, or nature's fury. Fortunately, we have not had that many serious counterterrorism events. But we have had superstorms. We had Superstorm Sandy. Even in Baltimore, we had Snowmageddon in 2011. The organization to something like Superstorm Sandy is similar to the response to Ebola, Zika, and now we're working on the opioid epidemic. CHHS worked with Sierra Leone during the 2014 Ebola crisis and helped contain what could have been a worldwide pandemic. They also helped after devastating flooding in Ellicott City. Come on! Somebody comes to us and says, we want to be able to respond to, say, the Zika. Can you get us a plan? Can you train us on the plan? Can we do exercises? Three years ago, the Center for Health and Homeland Securities created an academic program now training the next generation that will help people and communities deal with catastrophic events. How many other centers like yours exist in this country? The truth of the matter is there are not many. Now the Center for Health and Homeland Security also responded after the Freddie Gray riots. Right now it's concentrating on what it sees as a significant threat in the future, cybersecurity.